Hey, good looking. How you doing? Oh, favorite little keto dumbass again. <laughs> ah, yes, I said it. I have my days, don't I? I swear I do. So this is my keto diary, day 253 on keto. It is April 6, 2018. I'm dying. <laughs> So I decided to confirm something because my daughter and my son-in-law were going to take me to be tut for lunch, dinner, kind of a in-between time. And I said, you know what, one more time I'm going to try those garlic parmesan wings. They don't seem to kick everybody. So I'm just going to find out and see what happens. Oh, they kicked the shit out of me. They kicked my butt. And for anybody out there who's new to keto who don't know how this feels, when you get kicked out of ketosis, when you've been in it for a while, you're good news to it, your body has a killer response to it. It is almost like taking a handful of Benadryl. Like, uh, I don't want to move. Do we really have to go home? <laughs> it's, it's a very noticeable reaction your body will have. <clears throat> Perhaps a sugar coma. I, I really don't know what causes it. However, something definitely happens. So I had, let me go ahead and just tell you what I had. For breakfast this morning, I had two fried eggs, two deviled eggs, and um, two pieces of sausage. Good to go with breakfast. And for lunch, garlic parmesan wings from Pizza Hut. Now, I don't know if it's, that they add some kind of breading they don't list. I don't know if it's the sauce, uh, the oil they cook it in, because MSG is not great for you. Um, I don't know if maybe it's the ranch. Maybe they've got some kind of sugar in the ranch or a little sugar in the garlic parmesan sauce that they roll it in. I don't know what it is. But this is the third time they've kicked me. So it is most certainly these, and I'm just never going to fuck. Sorry about that. I hope y'all ain't too christian on me. Uh, I am never, ever eating those again. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely not. I don't want to stand here right now. And it's not that I don't want to do my video. It's that I would really rather lay down and do my video at the moment. Um, and it wasn't all the, car the Parmesan wings. So as soon as I realized I kicked myself, and I was still sitting in the restaurant, and my daughter's even said, like, your face just took on a change. It did. It went from... To, it's noticeable. It, it's noticeable to other people when they look at you. Ah! Hi. She does it to me all the time. Yeah, my daughter tried to dye her hair. What color? I'm gonna dye it blue. Well, and then come here. <sighs> this is a toner that turned my hair silver, even though I was told it wouldn't turn it silver. It would just take the brassiness out of the blonde. <laughs> I think it's funny. Look at all the brassiness that's up here. I done my roots first and it done nothing to it. Okay, now, now, now go away. This is a keto channel, not a hair dye channel. <laughs> don't listen to the people at Sally's. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> don't get me in trouble. <laughs> she said it, not me. She told me that. Here, I assume you came in here for your little nuggety thing. Actually, I forgot I was in here. I came in here to bother you. Go away. <laughs> I was telling them how I died at Pizza Hut. <laughs> and then, because I realized I was kicked, I just went ahead and had a couple cheese sticks. Half a cheese stick. Not even a whole one. No, it was a long one. No, you ate half of it, I thought. I still want errands. Wait. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was a half. Yeah, because you ripped it in half and ate. Okay, but see the ones on the counter in there? Yeah, I still have one of those two. Really? So technically, I had a whole cheese stick. <laughs> no, go away. Go away! Why is it an issue? It's not like you're not vaping anymore. Does your anybody video. want a child? She's grown and she'll eat you out of house and home. And I won't leave, so I mean. You can try to buy me, but it ain't gonna work. Go away. <laughs> mommy needs a nap. Like, for real, mommy needs a nap. Love you. Ow, I love you too. Go Did away. I really hurt you? Yeah. Alright. I got some collarbones going on now. They're kind of they're still hidden, but they're still very much so sensitive. Sensitive. Go away. How many times I got to tell you go? Away? <laughs> I'm gonna get me a sponge then. Just not one of them real hard ones. Just one that goes. It's that wet, but that'd make it worse. Get out. 
love you. I love you too. <laughs> Get out. Hey, including this in your video is very funny though. She thinks she's amusing. What she doesn't realize is I'm the funny one. <laughs> Go away, child. Here's our vow. <laughs> I know I can't see in the bathroom. It's all foggy and smoky. Or vapey, whatever. That's a vape, Sandy, by the way. <laughs> Uh, if y'all wasn't in that pajama party last night, she could not figure out what a vape was. She knew, but she didn't. I guess she wasn't thinking about it. She was thinking in terms of keto. And she's like, is, is that like a keto meter? I was sitting back laughing so hard I couldn't type. <laughs> anyway, I digress. So, yeah, I kicked myself. Child. Something else I was actually coming in here for. That bowl with the thing in it, the brush over there. I wanted this. This is the main reason why I actually came in here. I just said I was going to annoy you for no reason. Okay, go away. <laughs> okay, okay. Eggs, sausage, uh, deviled eggs, uh, uh, the chicken parmesan wings, one long cheese stick. Uh, oh, and a fiber one bar. Uh, and I did that because I bought my grandson some fiber bars so he could, because he's having issues. Anyway, so we got him some fiber bars for, for the for the toddler and uh, some other things too to help him go. Now, yeah, so I had one of those. I didn't kick myself anyway. I didn't eat way too much more than I should. Believe it or not, my carbs still aren't that high, but I think it's just because the chicken, the, the chicken wings aren't registered right at all um, and I've used the, the listing on their their Pizza Hut website so I don't know but anyway yeah I need a nap for real <laughs> so I added a new goal to my um, fun goal fun life goal list which is to enjoy the beach I told y'all yesterday I'm gonna go to the beach here in about two months I bought some bathing suits that Monday during my weigh-in and my measurements and everything I'm probably going to wear one every Monday. I show my body anyway. Why not show it in a bathing suit? And get people's opinion of what it looks like. Plus, I'll be able to see what it looks like through my video screen. And I'll know which one I like better, if I like any of them at all. Um, a couple of them my daughter gave me that she can't wear anymore. Uh, I got like a bottom from Goodwill while ago and a tank top that kind of matches it, but not really. Um, so, yeah. Right now, I got three possibles. Most likely, I'm going to wear shorts, and I'm probably only get in a pool, because I want to avoid the sand down the crack thing, and under the booze, and everywhere else in the world. She ain't like that, we're back. I had to beat my grandson to the door to make sure it was locked. I think he's going back in there. <laughs> he just said, Koi, your hair's weird. <laughs> okay. So, my goal is to enjoy the beach. New fun life goal is to enjoy the beach. Because, last time we went to the beach, I thought I was dying for real. We walked down to the beach. We were staying at the boardwalk, on the boardwalk. We walked down to the beach. Hung out a little bit. It was so hot. Now, everybody was hot, but I was hot, hot. I mean, heat stroke hot. We got back to the room. I got into a cold bath and stayed there. I didn't get out until I cooled down. And my husband's like, would you like to go? No, I don't want to go anywhere. Mm -mm. No, I'm good. I ain't dying of a heat stroke in, in, at the beach. <sighs> so this year, I just want to enjoy it. I want to go, and I'm, I'm a lot lighter now than I was, so less padding, less heat. I have, I did notice over the years I was becoming more and more heat intolerant, that I could not stand to be hot at all. And I mean it, mean it at all <laughs> and and now it's not bothering me as bad that or it's just been cooler so far this year and I know it hadn't been hot hot you know I know that but I'm hoping maybe my body temperature is regulated just a little bit more I don't know for sure but I hope so I want to go and enjoy myself and not feel like I'm gonna have a heat stroke if I can get back to the from the beach feeling pretty good your girl will not complain I'll consider that a star beside my fun life goal. <laughs> I've also decided to try to be my 100 pounds down before we go to the beach. Now, we're going to the beach the first weekend of June. 
um, around about 87 pounds down. So that's what, 12 to 13 pounds left to hit the 100 pound mark? In two months to do it in. Now, I ain't going to cry if I don't, don't get me wrong, because originally I wanted to hit the 100 pound mark by my year end of keto, which will be July 28th. So that's almost two months further away. If I hit it by then, I'll be thrilled. If I don't, I won't be. Oh, I'll still be fine because I'm goofy and I don't know no better. I hope y'all love me. I'm sorry. I really am. Uh, and I want to thank somebody real fast because I got a message down below on one of my videos um, saying that she was in a Dr. Berg live chat today and she was uh, talking about uh, having to buy special expensive foods and somebody, one of you guys, sent her to me. And I very much so appreciate that. I really do love that. And it makes me feel great that y'all thought about me in that way and sent her to see me, <laughs> to see my videos talking about um, keto is free and, and the foods you don't have to buy. Um, I appreciate that. Let me get to my keto diary because I have talked plenty and I'm hot. <laughs> this bathroom's little, so there's not a whole lot of air. Um, so again, keto diary 253. April 6th, 2018. Today, now I, I went over the calories I normally eat in a day, but I'm not over the calories I can have in a day. So I've had 1,870 calories today. 157 were fat. 76 protein. 36 carbs. The bulk of that was from the hot wings, which is kind of odd. They didn't seem to have any fat on them to me, but... That's what the, the site says. Anyway, we'll not be having those again anyway, so it don't matter. Sodium, 3,775. This surprised me. My um, blood pressure is 117 over 71, so still well down. I thought maybe since I kicked myself, my blood pressure would rise a little bit, but it did not. I'm happy about that, don't get me wrong. I'm still breaking my blood pressure pill in half. And I am still taking potassium and magnesium every night before bed. So those might be the deciding factor here. I'm not sure. But here in about a week, I'm going to stop taking the blood pressure pill altogether and just see if I can stay down like that. If I can, they're out of here. And I'll just stick with the potassium and magnesium. Even though they cost more than my blood pressure pills, they're probably a lot safer. So my heartbeat was 83. I did take my vitamins today. I had eight hours of sleep last night. So far today, I've had 13 cups of fluid, uh, including cherry Dr. Pepper. Diet cherry Dr. Pepper. And uh, water. I have not worked out today because after I kicked myself, I was extremely lazy. And it's hot in here, muggy feeling. Yesterday, I was 225. Today, I was 222.2, which is the lowest I've seen on the scale so far. I was 2.8 pounds down. That being said, tomorrow I'm looking forward to, it's going to go back up because I kicked myself today. Them was the breaks, but yeah. If you like my videos, please hit like. If you like this video, please hit like. If you have not yet done so, please subscribe. I've got plenty of silliness and I don't always kick myself, I swear. <laughs> if you see something share worthy, feel free to share. I don't mind at all. So guys and dolls, how was your day today? Were you good keto people? Have you not decided to start yet? Have you started? What were your macros? Did you work out today? How's your blood pressure, your glucose levels, and all that stuff? I'm, I'm genuinely cur curious. Oh, by the way, if you want me to help you with your keto journey, I'll need to know a few things. Your height, your weight, your age, your level of activity, um, and some, of the, some about what you're eating and any kind of medical conditions you might have. That'll help me help you a lot better. So shoot me an email. Shoot me a... Um, private message over on Facebook. You can add me. Just please send me a message and don't be a weirdo. No offense, some of them folks are weird. I don't mean my keto folks, but other folks on Facebook be trying to add you. You don't know who the hell they are. Them some weird people. <laughs> As always, my entire foods list is below. Disregard the garlic parmesan chicken. I will probably try to take that off of there before I post it, if I can remember, because I'm kicked out of ketosis, which means foggy. Anyway, uh, also, uh, right there, you'll find a big li video list of foods that can be eaten. Right here, you'll find uh, some tips and tricks. And if I think about it, 
There's other five videos on tips and tricks. I'll know why I did five more. Anyway, much love to y'all. See y'all tomorrow.